firefighters douse remaining flames, the authorities began surveying the frenzy of destruction and pondering how a peaceful protest over the fatal police shooting death of Mark Duggan turned so ugly. This level of violence escalated beyond all proportion. What was a, a peaceful vigil by a grieving family uh, was hijacked uh, by mindless criminal thugs who set fire to police cars, uh, who damaged local businesses, who destroyed people's homes. Despite deploying extra officers to prevent a repeat of Saturday's violence, a serious disturbance broke out in Enfield, about eight kilometers north of Tottenham. Riot and mounted police began patrolling the streets after use smashed up shop windows and damaged a police car. The family of Mark Duggan called for an end to the violence. I know people are frustrated, they're angry out there at the moment. But I would say please try to hold it down and please don't make this a bearing on my brother's life. My brother was a good man. Not being able to contain the anarchy and violence has cast a dark cloud over a city preparing to host the 2012 Olympic Games. Many believe failing to quell such large-scale riots exposes an obvious lack of security, leaving the masses uncertain the police are prepared. Speaking of uncertainty, four days after the fact, police still haven't told Mark Duggan's family why they shot him to death. It happened, I suppose that is what is the most brilliant thing for us at the moment is nobody's actually come forward and told us this is what has taken place. In all, 26 police officers were injured in the riots and 55 people were arrested for arson, looting and violence. Sonia Artero, TVB News. Syrian troops have intensified their crackdown on the eastern city of Deir al-Zur. At least 38 people were reportedly killed in a tank assault yesterday. The attack came despite a direct appeal from the United Nations to President Bashar al-Assad to stop using military force against civilians and a demand by Saudi Arabia's King Abdullah that Syria end the bloodshed. Chris Gulkin reports. It was the sharpest criticism yet from Saudi Arabia against any Arab state since a wave of protests rocked the Middle East and toppled autocratic leaders in Tunisia and Egypt. In a statement read out on the Al Arabiya satellite broadcaster, King Abdullah said what is happening in Syria is not acceptable and has nothing to do with religion, values or ethics. As protests continue across the country against the autocratic rule of President Bashar al-Assad, the Saudi king said Syria should act wisely before it's too late and enact reforms that are not just promises, but actual reforms. To underline his displeasure, Abdullah is recalling Saudi Arabia's ambassador from Damascus for consultations. Coincidentally, Saudi Arabia is an absolute monarchy that bans all political opposition. It also sent troops to help repress anti-government protests in neighboring Bahrain earlier this year. Amateur video filmed by a group calling itself the Deir al-Zur press network showed a huge black cloud of smoke rising from buildings in the city of the same name. An unidentified voice speaking in Arabic over the video claimed it was the aftermath of an attack by the Syrian army yesterday, the seventh day of the holy month of Ramadan. Tanks and artillery have been deployed in and around the town. More video purports to show residents in a standoff with the military in the center of the town. The commentator in the audio says the residents are pleading with the army. Elsewhere in Syria, heavy gunfire can be heard in this video taken in the city of Idlib as a funeral procession came under attack. The marchers were walking towards a line of security forces before heavy gunfire broke out, forcing them to flee in the opposite direction. Rights groups say more than 1,700 people have died in the protests that began in mid-March. Assad's regime disputes the toll and blames a foreign conspiracy for the unrest. Chris Galkin, TVB News.